Yo, 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 people, what is up? What is up? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another show on Jason Guna TV. We're here doing a live watch along for the City versus Arsenal match at the Etihad Stadium today. Of course, Liverpool just beat Brighton 2 1, so they're in first on 67 points. But a win for the Gunners can put them back to the top. Um, a win for City puts them one point behind and would leave Arsenal three points behind at the top of this tight EPL title race. So I just want to bless up anybody who's going to see the stream today. Remember to like and share the content. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Help the channel to grow. We are on our way to 1K, people. Quick and fast. And yeah, we're just here to just enjoy some football today. So, of course, the lineups are out. So for City, we have Ortega in goal. Edison could not make it back in time. Left back today will be Vardiol. Right back will be Akanji. Centre backs will be Ake and um, Ruben Diaz. In midfield, you have Rodri. And he went with Kovacic in midfield today, um, as well as uh, Kevin De Bruyne. And then, of course, on the right, you'll have Phil Foden. On the left, more than likely, could be Silva. Sometimes he plays Silva central, puts De Bruyne wide. Not sure how that's going to play out. And, of course, Haaland up top. And then for Arsenal, the big news, pretty much everyone back except for Gabriel Martinelli, who starts from the bench. So in goal, um, we went with David Raya, of course. Same back four that we've been playing. Kivior left back, Benjamin White right back, Saliba and Magales in the middle. And then in midfield, he went for Jorginho. Declan Rice and Odegaard, and then we have Saka on the right. Gabriel Jesus on the left starts in his old stamping grounds, and Kai Havertz as the central forward are false nine. So that is how it's going to look today, people. Let's go ahead and bless up those who are here. Big up yourself, Brent Lott, North London forever. That is it, bro. Yeah, man, we need to get back to the top. We said W's only. What a relief. Well, yeah, I was asking Dima, you know, is that a banana skin today with this big match coming up with Arsenal and City. And Liverpool did what they had to do. Um, Brighton yeah, that gave them a few scares, but, you know, Liverpool pretty much dominated most of that game. Um, but, yeah, good goal from Welbeck to start out. But sometimes when you score too early and Liverpool at Anfield, it's not the best, you know. So kudos to them. Got the job done. Still at, still at the top of the table. Let's see for how long, you know. Bless up yourself, smoke, uh, float. Big up, big up. We say you want to draw. Well, I say me that big for the other day when I'm not play. So, I'm not wrong if I want to draw. At least you're not like a lot of other Liverpool fans I've heard saying, boy, Arsenal can't win because they're going to back it, you know? It makes more sense to me as a Liverpool fan to want to draw. Up, oh, Bessas, up. Oh. Trey, bless up, you know? Yeah, man, we're there. Guna, not Ghana. We're going to be Gooners. You see it behind me? Yeah, man. I'm a scarf, you know? Shouldn't trouble it. My, my set my set designers will come fix it in a minute, people. But yeah, after the scarf, people, we're there. We're out. On the road, watching on my phone. Check back at half time. Ah, bless up, bless up, Brent. We know you're up on the road. Drive safe and don't, you know? <laughs> It's a tough match to watch on the road, but you have to do it, you have to do sometime. Yeah, man. So we have the we have the match play by play ready to go. So yeah, this is how we're gonna see it today, people. One minute and nine seconds to kick off. All right, people. So, real quick, drop on the predictions in the comment section. Me on my preview show for the week, I did go for a 3 2 Arsenal win. I see no reason to change it. That's what I want to say. A 3-2 win. I think both teams will have success today um, in terms of getting chances. The game at the Emirates was a bit of a tighter affair with, I think, City getting more of the chances, if we're being honest. Uh, but we were able to find a goal in the end from Martinelli off the bench. So is that a sign? Will we see another goal from Martinelli off the bench? That would be nice. That would be nice. Uh, curious to see how we actually start out. Um, I'm assuming that Gabriel Jesus will be on the left side for Martinelli. And Havertz will continue in his role. He's been playing through the middle. Um, but, you know, we might see a curveball. You never know. And I'm also interested to see how City set out because he went for Kovacic and Rodri. So I'm assuming they'll play a little deeper in midfield. Uh, without Stones on the back line, I don't see Ake or Diaz pushing up into midfield. So it might be a more conventional style 
with a with a back four that's kind of more set for city today so let's see how the tactics play out people you know student versus teacher today so anything can play tricks tricks up both coaches sleeves so really interested to see how they tactically set up the team as i say, i think city will go with a more conventional back four today and their back four will stay more in place um i am not on the right thing somehow <coughs> Yeah, hey, people, so the feed not changed for me yet, and the game has started. What is going on here? So I am supposed to get this game on NBC, people, and the game has kicked off already, 23 seconds, and I'm not seeing anything. I'm still seeing Sunday church service. I mean, this, this cannot be real. Is it not going to change? Oh my gosh, people. All right, well, I'm going to start out something else. Ja, ja. All right, that's why I always have a backup plan, you know? Start out Peacock stream instead. All right, so in position on the back line looks like Ake. So yeah, people, drop on the predictions, man. Let me know what you think. Let me know Demo want to draw. So you think goal are going to score Demo or Nilal? All right. So I'm about, looks like I'm about a minute behind. Or 40 seconds behind. I'm 34 seconds into the game. I'll keep checking NBC because I believe NBC will be a lot closer to the real time than Peacock would. But it's still showing church. This is crazy, people. This is crazy, people. It's, it's 1038, Julie. Jaja, stressed out people. Biggest match of the season, and I'm here missing some of it. All right. One minute 22 on my screen. Oh, make sure I can't okay, hear the sound. I don't need no copyright in the day. De Bruyne turns in midfield, finds Foden. Foden through the middle. Haaland looks to be offside, but they play on. Holland into the box. And it looks like he may have been fouled by Saliba, but it was offside. It was offside. I don't know if Anthony Taylor was going to blow that one there. I'm not sure. But that's danger there from good way to hold the line there, though. Gabriel saw it the whole way. So good way to be in sync there with Saliba. I think Saliba was more worried about that one. Gabriel kind of saw it. Arteta looking serious on the touchline. Knows that this is a huge day for him. Probably for his career. People, people, I still still feel like people doubt him as a manager, which is strange to me. I think he has shown great progression. And here's Silva down the right side. So it looks like Silva actually is the one that's going to play on this right side. Oh, and he murders Kivior over there. And Gabriel Jesus has to foul him. And that was really, really well done from Bernardo Silva there. Stood him up, dipped the shoulder, cut back in, right through his legs. And then Jesus, always there to pressure, had to foul him. And I, I would say he's lucky not to be in the book. I think the City players are already starting to crowd Taylor, getting his head. This is something that City players do a lot, people. They spend most of the game around the referee. So it's a dangerous free kick here. You have the right foot of De Bruyne to whip it away from the keeper or the left foot of Foden to go towards him. Is it on now? Did it switch from church? Oh. Yeah, people. So I am literally about 50 seconds behind the play-by-play -play on screen. So... 
I'm going to be watching the television and not looking at that. But I'll leave it on screen for anybody that's not actually watching the game so you can follow along. But here's the free kick from De Bruyne. De Bruyne whips it into the back post and Benjamin White clears. Well done from Benjamin. Haaland was lurking there on the back post, but well dealt with. It was a dangerous ball by De Bruyne. Really, Raya had no chance to come for that. But good defending on the back post. It's a corner to City from the from Arsenal's right side of defense. So it's going to be whipped in with the right foot by De Bruyne. Zonal marking, couple man marking. They went for the top of the right by the penalty spot, but no one read it. Jesus clears. And Jesus gets beaten easily on the right here. Here's Vardial. Vardial whips in with the right foot. Just over Haaland. Here's Foden. And Arsenal need to get on the ball here. <clears throat> Pretty much been defending for the last minute or so. City builds out the back. Arsenal try to form the press. Kovacic goes direct into Haaland. That's a good ball. Plays it off to Foden. Foden wide to De Bruyne. De Bruyne inside. Bad pass there, cut out by Rice, Odegaard, Jorginho, good triangle there. Benjamin White goes long but blocked and then clears out of play for a throw to City. So Arsenal unable to get into any kind of passing rhythm here in the first five minutes. City being on the ball, some dangerous free kicks, corner kick. So Arsenal just needs to weather this early storm here. To be expected, City the home team. With the home crowd, normally they would start the game a little faster. It does look to be Jesus off the left and Havertz through the middle, as I suspected. The one surprise for me is right now City is playing with a system where uh, Bernardo Silva is actually the, the right winger. Or the, first, the player furthest forward on the right. Thought that might be Foden's role, but Foden looks to be on the other side with De Bruyne just behind Haaland. Arsenal try to build. City press. Good pressure here from City. Kevior gets it up the wing. Cut out by Akanji. Akanji into Kovacic back to Ortega and City build again. Arsenal not high pressing. But team pushed pretty high up the pitch. Just not really going for the ball just yet. Letting Ortega have time. Kovacic looks to have fallen all the way back behind the keeper to build the play. So he looks like to be the trigger to get, get through this press. And that's a giveaway from City. Here's Saliba. Saliba finds Rice on the wing. Good run from Benjamin White. He's down the flank. It's across. Havertz. It's over everyone. And a good try here, Jesus off the chest, tried a quick volley. Didn't quite catch it, but good signs here from Arsenal. They set the press up well, and City had a misplaced pass, and we were on the attack. You know, Jesus would think he'd want to do a little better here, maybe. Kind of rushed at it a bit, but didn't have much time. But good signs here from Arsenal, getting a shot off in the box. Yes, people, remember to like the video. Share the content around. Doing a live watch along for the first time for Arsenal here. Did my first watch along for Jamaica last week and it was very fun. So wanted to do one for the Gunners today. Obviously, as you know, uh, Arsenal is near and dear to my heart. So as this game progresses, I might get a little crazy, but hopefully I can keep my composure. I think that's what Arsenal need to do today is keep their composure as well. Because I do think City will have stretches of this game where they, you know, play some really good football. That's, that's going to happen. But, you know, how we react to those those spells, I think, will make the difference today. Hopefully that year of losing some of these crunch games last year, we have gained some experience from that and can just keep our cool in the big moments. Gabriel back. To Saliba. Saliba being pressed goes back to Raya. Raya comfortably goes long down the right, looking to get on Havertz. Havertz does play well here. Oh, and 
what's the call? I'm not sure what the call was. Maybe he was offside, but that surely wasn't a foul. Anthony Taylor wants it taken from the right spot. So I'm yeah, I, I'm thinking that was offside because I don't I didn't see anything wrong with him trying to gain position there. Ortega goes wide and Kovacic again deep, deepest player on the pitch. And Rice almost cut it out. City tries to play out, but not unsuccessfully. Gabriel will go back to Raya and Arsenal will try to build again. Raya miscontrols, being pressured. Clears with his left foot, but not very well. Cut out by Rodri and here is Bernardo Silva on a counter. Bernardo Silva facing up with Kivior. Cuts inside, goes wide to De Bruyne who overlapped. Crossed in, but Raya well positioned. <clears throat> goes quick to Odegaard. Odegaard getting pressed. Goes back. Saliba has time. Saliba now getting pressured. Goes wide to Saka. Saka drops it back to Saliba. Saliba decides not to go back to the keeper. Goes up the line. Arsenal win the second ball. Here's Odegaard. Played. Oh, and well done. He's... So, as you could see there, Odegaard in the half space collected it. But Ruben Diaz came all the way from the back line to make sure he had no time to turn and City back in position. Here's Bernardo. Searching. Goes inside to Rodri. Rodri finds Foden dropping into half space. Foden wide to Vardial. Vardial goes back to Foden. Foden back to Kovacic. Kovacic, Rodri. Rodri back to Kovacic. City with the slow build up here. Arsenal dropped into a block. Here's Rodri. Rodri goes to Silva. Silva plays it. Jesus, good pressure. Got a toe on it. But it's going to be a throw to City. On the right side. Here's a Kanji. So far, Gabriel Jesus has been doing a lot of defending in this game. He did that that one time in the box where he got off a shot after a giveaway from City. City recycle all the way back. Kovacic really deep again. Plays a 1-2 with Rodri. Back to Rodri again. Arsenal again dropped into a shell. Kind of a mid-block, almost a low block right now. Here's Silva. Silva looking. Jesus watches. Goes in the middle to Rodri. Arsenal shift. Here's Kovacic. Kovacic back to Ake. So all 10 players now from City in... Arsenal's half, and all 10 players from Arsenal on top of their box, just about. And this is where maybe Arsenal can get out. Saka tries to, but can't. Dispossessed. Here's Rodri. Rodri finds De Bruyne in space. De Bruyne goes to the middle, but well done here from Rice. Well done from Rice, winning the ball back. Goes back to Kivior. Kivior to Magalhães. Magalhães finds Rice. Rice to Kivior. And Kivior with a loose touch. That's no good there. Here's Silva. De Bruyne on top of the box, tries a through pass, but cut out from Saliba. Saliba dribbles out the box and clears with his left foot. Jesus tries to hold it up, but can't. Ask for a foul. Taylor tells him to get up. City in possession again, and they come forward. Rodri, back to Ake. Bless up, Joe Grant. We're out. I watch some ball game. I pray. Pray some aside can pull it off, you know? City on the attack here. Here's Silva. Bernardo Silva back to Diaz. Diaz whips one in kind of aimlessly there. Benjamin White off the chest to Raya. So a little bit of, I wouldn't say frustration, but I don't think Diaz really needed to whip that one in. Didn't really look like Haaland or anyone in the box was really ready for it. And well dealt with by the Arsenal defence. Saliba here getting pressed. Doesn't lose it. Here's Jorginho. Jorginho is fouled in midfield. Jorginho using his experience there. Didn't really have a pass on, so just wanted to keep possession. Was able to do so by drawing a foul, and Arsenal can regroup and push the team up the pitch. Here's Jorginho on the ball. Goes along to Benjamin White, and he has acres of space. He's going to get to it. Here's White. White whips it in. 
Oh, too close to the keeper. Ortega with the catch. He was looking for Havertz there, but couldn't quite get the bend on it. But that space looks empty over there on that side. The high line of City getting breached. Jorginho. Nice through pass in the air. That's what Jorginho brings to this midfield that maybe we don't get as much when Rice plays there. Ability to just ping those passes either on the ground or over the top in space. Rice has the ability, but just doesn't seem to do it as much. City in possession here. 14 minutes into the 15th minute here. And here's Vardial. Has space down the left. Saka chasing. Cut back. Oh, well done. Goes back to the left again. But Saka gets the block in to force the corner. So Vardial actually beat him with the original cut, but I don't think he trusted himself with his right foot. Benjamin White and Saka kind of think he's trying to wonder why he was so free there, Benjamin White. And I think Saka's thinking he was going to be there to cover that run. But he had to follow Foden in field. So you need to work that out there. Good interchange on the wing by City. And here's a corner the Brenner will take. It's a mismatch there. Jesus and Holland. Oh, and that was a free header in the six-yard box from Ake. But it went right at Raya. That should have been 1-0. That's a brilliantly whipped-in ball from De Bruyne. And he got free in the six-yard box. Got the flick on it. Hit his shoulder. And landed right in Raya's lap. Luckily. So that was lucky there for Arsenal, I must say. That could have gone anywhere. Didn't get a clean contact. That's probably what saved Arsenal right there. But... Jorginho looked to be man-marking him in the six-yard box, and that's a mismatch. That ball cannot get there. So Arsenal a bit timid so far. Definitely on the back foot, but, you know, Manchester City, as I said before, at home. So it was to be expected, and that's a misplayed pass from Foden. And this is a corner kick for Arsenal. And Arsenal have been one of the best teams in the league this season on corners. Many goals scored. Great set-piece routines. Bukayo Saka will be the one to take it. And he has to go get the ball because the new rules state the ball boys and girls cannot give the balls to the players anymore. That's unbelievable. I don't know why, but hey, he had to go get another ball. All right, so here's the set-piece routine. Looks like all the players are on the back post, probably to come into the near. Kivior goes into the near post, and this is to the back post. Ortega comes out, and a good leap from Ortega, grabbing it before two Arsenal players had a chance to connect with it. And Ortega goes fast to Silva down the right-hand side while Arsenal recover. And Rodri getting pressed. Well done. Well done by Arsenal there to get back into shape and force City to slow it down and build again. Arteta applauded that effort there after the corner to not give up any counters and the game settling into a little rhythm here of City attacking and Arsenal defending Diaz goes wide to Akanji Kivior tries to close he goes back Diaz has Rodri in acres of space in the midfield Rodri goes forward plays it wide to Vardy Saka tries to close he's late here's a cross over Haaland, Jesus with a flick, but straight to Akanji. Akanji back to Bernardo Silva. Silva being watched by Rice. Silva goes back to the midfield to Rodri. Always in about 10 yards of space, it seems. Here's De Bruyne closed down well by the Benjamin White. And De Bruyne is finding all kinds of pockets. White and Saka have to pay attention over here. Rodri probes, finds Kovacic. Kovacic thinks about going wide, but cuts it back. Comes to the right side now. Here's Diaz. Diaz wide to Akanji. Akanji plays it to Jesus, looking for the 1-2, but good marking. Silva. Force back. Here's Ruben Diaz. Diaz goes to Akanji. Oh. And I thought that was going to be Arsenal throw, but it's a throw for City. Jesus with the challenge. Here's Rodri. Rodri plays central. Foden back to Rodri again. Again with about five yards of space. Here's Silva into a pocket of space here. Free on the ball. Time. 
plays white to Akanji. Akanji plays it back to Silva. Silva in, looks for Foden. Foden plays it back to Rodri. Rodri, Diaz. Diaz back to Ake and they reset. Kovacic playing really deep in the build up here. Almost like the third centre back. And Jesus late on Bernardo. I think Taylor is telling him to relax. That's two fouls now on Jesus. Rodri goes wide to Vardial. Vardial with Ben White on him. He goes back. Here's Kovacic. Kovacic to Ake. Ake to Foden. Foden back to Kovacic. Possession right now, 72 to 28. So City, a lot of the ball, but Arsenal will probably say not really splitting them open just yet. Good shape by Arsenal so far. But I don't think this can work for the entirety of the game. So we'll need to get on the ball at some point and pose our own threats. But it's been 20 minutes and that's well done by Jesus. Cuts it out. Here's Rice. Rice back to Kivir. Kivir goes along to no one in particular, but it could cause some problems. But Ake deals with it. And it's given away. Here's Arsenal now on the counter. Here's Saka. Saka faces up. Vardiol from behind. Good challenge, though. He got the ball. Saka showed him a bit too much of it there. Had Ake in retreat, but Vardiol making the initial mistake, runs back and makes the challenge. So good signs there from Arsenal to have a counter, but Vardiol was alert. <clears throat> Here's De Bruyne. De Bruyne being pressed. Plays a 1 2. Phone. Arsenal doing a good job of not letting them out so easily. And Man City forced to switch the play now to Diaz on the right. Acres of space coming forward with it. Inside to Rodri. Rodri to Bernardo, who has now gone infield to get some more of the ball. Wide. Spread out beautifully. Vardial behind the defence. Foden was onside. And he plays it behind De Bruyne. So not the best there. Here's Odegaard. Odegaard finds Kivior. Kivior now to Jesus. Jesus plays it back to Gabriel Magalesh. Magalesh back to Raya. Raya goes long towards Saka, but it's too long. So Arsenal really have not been able to keep the football at all in this half. Um, Arteta will be happy with the defensive shape, but I'm sure he would have wanted us to get on the ball more and express ourselves a bit. Kanji makes the run. Good blocking from Arsenal and was really a hopeful ball from Rodri. Way too long. Goal kick to Arsenal. Brian Burke, you there? Yeah, man, Brian. I just said that. Just say that, man. We need to we need to get on the ball somehow. Um, you know, Georgie, Odegaard, Rice. We we'll have to try to get on the ball. Right now, we have no outlet, no out ball. All our pass is pretty much in our own third. Raya goes long. Havertz does well to win it, but flicked by Kovacic. Saliba. Here's Vardial. Vardial plays it wide. Now back to Kovacic. Kovacic surveys. Looks for Rodri. Rodri finds Akanji, who's now in field. Akanji goes back to Ake. Ake to Kovacic. Kovacic wide to Vardial. So City doing a good job right now of just having that extra outlet, even if it's a deeper pass, just to keep the possession. Here's De Bruyne being pressured by Kivior. And he goes down the line. Kivior was late. Good cutback, but Jorginho alert to the cutback. Here's Havertz. Oh, good ball through the legs, but doesn't get to Rice. Cut out by Rodri. And he goes back to Ake again. City will attack. Here's Rodri. A 
I mean, this is not a good sign that we're defending so much. The only thing I will say is that we've done a really good job so far, but that's two in a row now they've gotten around the back. And we cannot keep the ball when we win it. No outlet right now. We definitely need to do something about this soon. I think City is going to connect on these passes soon. And Raya is going to have to make a big save if we don't figure something out. Foden. Back to Kovacic. Really just playing on the back line in the build-up. Here's Rodri. Cuts inside on the left. Good tackle from Declan Rice. And maybe Arsenal can spring a counter. Oh, that's well done. Good movement from Havertz to get open. Jesus. Jesus. Runs beyond. Stays on side. Oh, and that's a good ball. Oh, and that was a good, a good attempt by Jesus to play it through to Havertz. And City players are going to surround the ref again because Havertz slid in to win the ball. There was a collision with the keeper, and Diaz probably wants a card, but, I mean, what is he supposed to do? Not go for it? He did pull his leg up in t as well. Didn't He could have kept his foot there and made it worse, but Havertz did pull his leg out of it a bit, picked it up. But yes, it was a hard collision, but if you're a keeper, that will happen. You have to be brave, and he was brave. So Pep unhappy with something there on that counter-attack break. And Ake is holding his calf, I believe. And he's, he'll have to come off, people. So it looks like Rico Lewis will be coming on now. Um, let's see how this shifts the shape of the back line. I wonder what Pep will do here. I know Rico Lewis can play right back, midfield. I've seen him play left back as well. So I'm not sure where he wants him to play, but we'll see. But Ake is out, people. So one of the centre-backs on the day is out. Maybe Vardial slides to the central defence and plays beside Diaz. Maybe. But we'll see what Pep does, the mad scientist. So that was quick. I didn't see him really holding it during the game, but I guess he must have been talking to the bench because that was a very fast sub. So Rico Lewis must have been warming up, getting ready there. I think Diaz talking to Akanji about how it's going to be, how it's going to look. It looks like Akanji has slid to the center of defense and Lewis will just play at right back. Vardial continues on the left side at left back. Saka sat down by Kovacic there. Kovacic goes long, but that's Gabriel. Wins the duel. And he's not going away from De Bruyne. That's a foul, man. Why, why can't are people not allowed to foul people anymore? Why every time a foul happen, them man you have to go on so. I mean, yes, he fouled him, but like and De Bruyne doing all kind of extras there. Yo. Gabriel no business with all them things there, you know. A bad man that. And Kivior is beaten again. And the City players want a yellow card if the breeze blows on them. Boy, Brian Burke, honestly, right now, um, I think what we need to do is figure out a way to have an outlet up top. Like, we have to keep either Havertz or, or Jesus up top because... Sometimes we're not going to be able to play out of the, out of the press. And we're going to have to go up and let it stick somewhere. But, you know, with, with 10 men behind the ball, when we do win the ball, we have no outlet. So we can't really break fast. Um, so it's a tough situation because the defensive shape has been so good that, I, you know, you don't really want to mess with it. But at the same time, we'll have to have some kind of outlet when we do win the ball. And right now we don't have it. So Brian Burke, I, I would say... I would try to just keep what we're doing for maybe the last 10 minutes, the next 10 minutes. And then towards the end of the half, I would I would take a little more chances, maybe, maybe press them a little bit higher, like it looks like they're doing right now. So Arteta is not waiting, actually. He's going for it. But 
you see the problem with this is if they do break this press the shape won't be as good and maybe they'll get shots off whereas before we've been blocking any shots from happening but the press seems to work there we won the ball Georgina with it getting press Havertz plays out Arsenal win it goes wide to Kivior Kivior all the way back to Raya which is fine let's keep the ball keep the ball Raya Here's Odegaard. Odegaard finds Rice. Rice plays it wide to Kivior. Kivior back to Gabriel. And this is better from Arsenal. We need this. We need spells of this. Let City know that they're in a game. I don't even care who don't go forward. Just play some passes, please. Here's Raya. You don't need to go long, Raya. He doesn't. In, in the middle. Arsenal struggling to really get out, but they still have it. Rice wide to Kivior. Kivior has Rice again, but he goes long. And it's too long. I really wish he had played it in the middle to Rice there. Yeah, I think Brian Burke, the adjustment is take a little more risk in the press. Don't, don't drop into such a low block so early. Like in this part of the game here, City building, let's try to nick it off of them closer to their goal. But again, the, the risk in that is when they play out like this, look at all this space for the Bruyne now. This wasn't happening when we were back in our shape. But you have to take some kind of chance at some point, you know. Saliba does well to play out there. Well played by Arsenal. Well played by Arsenal. Here's Ben White. He has Odegaard wide open. Finds him. Stay on side, Ben. Ben gets it back again. Oh, that's a brilliant ball, you know. Oh, yes. Here's Jesus. Here's Jesus. Oh, Gabriel Jesus did well to work a shot with the left, but just dragged it wide. But that was brilliant play from Arsenal down the right side. Combination of one-twos. Good ball to give you a back post. Composed layoff. Jesus, oh, did well to find a shot with his left, but just dragged it too far of the post. Ortega was, was looking there with intent. Might have beaten him if it was inside the post. So, so not, first, first really good build-up move from Arsenal there of the game. You know, had it in their own half and were able to play some passes to move it up the pitch. Getting Ben White free and a lot of space down that side. I think of all the spots on the field, that looks to be the most open area. Um, they're kind of conceding that wing. Vardial is playing extremely high up the pitch when City have the ball, so... Um, you know, that left center back doesn't really look to want to go all the way out there. So that space is there for Ben White. I really thought that they would play a more conventional back four. And I think, I'm not sure who that pass was to, but didn't come off at all. Here's Rodri. Rodri back to Diaz. Kovacic, one two with Rodri, progressing forward. Arsenal has moved up their line considerably in the last five minutes. Much more of a mid block now, and the press is getting a little heavier, higher up the pitch as well, which has paid dividends actually. I think maybe City might have expected us to do this earlier, and got into a false sense of security before we turned up the press a little more and they, they tried to go through long there but it didn't work out and raya holds looking for the best option to build he'll probably put it down at his feet which he does goes wide to saliba saliba gives the ball away so that was not very good there from arsenal <clears throat> I think maybe some of the Arsenal <laughs> players expected Raya to go long there based on the lack of a lack of options for Saliba when he received it. Yeah man, that was a, that was probably the best move of the day. Arsenal back into that shape. Very defensive. 
to where Havertz is now, I would love for him to just go 10 yards further up the pitch. I mean, I understand he wants to, you know, crowd that Rodri space, but I need one of the players to be up here closer to Diaz just for that threat. And it's a poor back pass. Odegaard's going to get there. He's looking for someone. Diaz did well. Rice is free on top of the box. Finds mm -hmm. Jesus. Jesus wide, looking for a shot. Cuts inside. He's free. Oh, brilliantly done. Here's Havertz. Havertz to Kivior. And what? Oh, offside. Oh, my gosh. Jesus. Jesus faking out even the commentator there. So that was a poor back pass from Kovacic. But Diaz really did well to just stand up Odegaard here. But Rice found it, played it early to Jesus. Jesus sat down one, went back to the right, tried to shoot, but way too crowded. And then Havertz played it to an offside Kivior. Well done, Gabriel. Sit him down. And the space is there. Yes, man, it's there. Here's Saka. Facing up. Good ball from Saka. Here's Rice at the top of the box. Has Kivior wide. Goes inside. One, two. Ooh, Roger cut it out. Ooh. Here's Jesus. Jesus tries a flick, but it's not very well executed at all. I think Saka was lining up a left foot blast there, but Odegaard took it off his foot. But a little bit better. So the last five minutes has been much better from Arsenal. You can see the threat now starting to show up in the game. I would think Arteta would be the happier of the two managers at the moment. You know, able to weather that early storm. And, you know, in... In Man City terms, it was more like a drizzle. Saliba there looking not comfortable on the ball. Gives it away. City here on the left. Here's Kovacic <clears throat> looking inside. Bernardo Silva is free. Havertz shifts over to try to get in his way. Silva looking for a pass. Finds Rodri. De Bruyne just sneaking around there by the back line, trying to find space. Here's Silva, a little bit of space here. Driving towards the box. Cuts inside. Tries to play across, but it's blocked. Rodri collects. Goes back to Akanji, who has now moved to center back. Looking more like a midfielder right now. Vardial. Goes all the way back to Diaz. Rico Lewis now inverted. Getting on the ball, getting some touches. Goes back to Akanji. Folding in the half space, looking for it, but he goes wide to Vardiol in acres of space. Vardiol looks to whip one in and does so. Ooh, Haaland actually got his head to that one. I think both had a handful of each other's shirt. Him and Kivior, it looked like, there on the back post. But Gabriel... Did just enough to jump in front of him and get in his sight and actually got a flick on it to Holland's head. So good challenge there from Gabriel. <laughs> and the Man City fan has entered the chat. Big up JD, I Maxi Football. Who playing better in the game? I will say City is playing better in the game. Yes, I will say that. I will say that for sure. Why? Oh, no, oh, no, going to stop asking for yellow cards every single time and just play the game. Last five minutes, it looked better. It looked better. We, 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 you can see that we have more of a, a little more of a threat going forward. I will connect in a few more passes when we go forward. So um, I think that little five minutes of higher press while risky is something that we need to go back to in spells at the game. The low block not going to work for 90 minutes, I don't think. City will pick the lock eventually. Yeah, man. No same way forward, man. I'm probably busy, but once he have time, he forward, man. 
Oh, yeah, see him there on the road. Him same home by half time. All right, JD, let me know if you want to join for the second half if you have time, bro. Who there? Here's Silver. Silver cuts in on Kivir. Kivir does well, but he's beaten. Jesus helps, but he beats everyone inside to Diaz. Diaz to Kanji now. Kanji looks to whip one in, he does. Rodri got his head on it, but could only get a flick far of the far post. And I believe that Gabriel got hit square in the face there. Rodri, you know, using his arm to get positioning. And as Gabriel went in for the ball, was hit dead in the face by Rodri's arm. He's a tough lad. He'll get up. And the empty head fans screaming at him. <laughs> empty head fans screaming at Gabriel. Yeah, but JD, to be honest, City has played better so far. Um, definitely have more to play, attacking more. We have dropped into somewhat of a shell for most of the half. But I will say that the, on the rare occasions where we had some, you know, where we tried to press you higher, we did have some success turning you guys over and it turning into something. There we go again. Oh, and the ref bails out Vardy all there. I'll have to see it again, people, but it looked to be a soft one. But it seems like Kovacic and Vardial is who we're trying to trigger the press against. They have had a few wayward passes so far under pressure. So it looks like Vardial for sure they're targeting when he gets it over there. Um, they're trying to get him to make some mistakes. So far post one here. Raya catches on the line calmly. So 41 minutes played, people. This one is quite a cagey one so far. As I said, City have the better of the possession and the play, but I'm sure Arteta will be happy with the lack of true goal-scoring chances so far. I think the best chance probably was from a corner, Nathan Ake. And that's a throw-in for Arsenal. I think Lewis and Havertz collided there. Brilliant first touch from Jesus on the clearance just now. And Lewis looks to have come off worse in that one. Gabriel goes back to Raya. Raya way out of his box, goes long. Well done by Kivir winning the initial one. And a bad flick back from Akanji. And it's going to be another corner to Arsenal. So that's two corners now that City have pretty much given us. And I think that's playing with fire against this team, you know. El Granero, who are they? All, all three of you? There's only about three of you, you know. All the rest of the City fans are at this stadium right now. And then the other three watching... Somewhere, maybe here. All right, Declan Rice to take this corner now. Whipped in, cleared by Holland. Saka tries to go wide. Here's Magales wide. Goes back to Saka. Saka keeps possession. Odegaard in the half space is taken away. Bernardo tries to find De Bruyne, but well cut out by Declan. And Declan thought someone was making a run, but no one made it. Bless up, Granny Hero. Where the city man them there? And they go direct to Haaland again, which works this time. Here's Silva. Silva goes wide to Vardiol. I don't mind Vardiol being the further, the furthest player forward on the left. You know, that's I don't mind that. I know he has quality on the left foot, but 
you know, I'd rather him than Foden or Silva or De Bruyne or anybody else. Arsenal doing a decent job of keeping eyes on De Bruyne. Here's Foden. Too much space at the top of the box, but a good block there from Kivior for the initial foul. Yes, he was fouled initially. So it's going to be a free kick to Arsenal. I think I think that was was that Odegaard. Yeah, Odegaard drew a foul in midfield. There's a little too much space at the top of the box there for Foden. He does have a good enough left foot to. You know, pick out a corner from there, but it was very good blocking. I think Kivior had stepped in the middle and blocked that one. Where say he was he was an Arsenal fan until the oil money came around, eh? <laughs> Rough. All right, Havertz tries to bring it down but can't. That's a brilliant one-time pass from Vardiol, but well done by Rice, and he's going again to win it again. Good pressure from Rice forces him back, so they go back to Diaz. So good, good counter defending there from Arsenal, not letting them really break out all the way. Rice, as usual, cleaning up the mess. The oil money change him, Jaja. Big Arsenal fan muffin. <clears throat> uh oh, City have a break on the left here, but a decent pass from Vario. Looked to be a bad one, but it got there. Good slide tackle from Jesus. Why Jesus is such a hard working player. That's a foul. Thank you. Well done by Saka there. Gets in front of De Bruyne. De Bruyne doesn't agree with it, but it was a foul. Ran to his back. Good strength from Sasha. From Sasha. From Saka there. Sasha. Yeah, man, I tell him to, man, but don't, you know, I'm not like when Arsenal fans say it. All right, people, I think I should be much more in sync with the first half, I mean, with the second half, because I'll be able to come off of Peacock, which is the streaming thing, and go to TV. NBC, I show the game. And it's halftime, people. Yep. Halftime, nil nil. So, as of right now, Liverpool would still be the league leaders, 67 points. Arsenal would have 65 and City 64. So, let me see what you guys thought of that first half, people, in the comments section. El Granero said, I like City, but I'm a United fan. But El Granero, that is how that works, brother. How oh, you can be a United fan. And you're a United fan, but, you're but you fan. like City. That is that is that allowed? I don't, I don't think I ever heard that one before. I never heard that one before. Yeah, people, remember like the video if you haven't already. Share it around. But let me know, people. What do you say about the first half? What do you think? I'm gonna read the stats. All right. Smash that like so, button. So, seventy-two to 28% for City. Mm. The shots are even four apiece. Shots on target even one apiece. Both have two off target and both have one block shot. Both have two corners. Both have one offside. Arsenal has eight fouls to City's four. Um, big chances one for Man City, none for Arsenal. But Man City, of course, missed their big chance. And I'm trying to see who they, yeah. So they did class the big chance from the corner kick, which is what I said, people. That's the biggest chance of the game. Um, <clears throat> and let's see. 
City have 362 passes to Arsenal's 138. Really? Yo, that is weird. Why would they do that? That's like me cheering for Spurs. Exactly, that, that can happen. Um... Yeah, Brian Burke, that is madness. You'd have a cheer for Spurs, Brian Burke? I guess because City wasn't like perennially that good. United fans don't really care. But they're good now. Yeah. <laughs> he won't admit it, people. He was an Arsenal fan, you know? Many United fans cheer City. I want everybody to like shout out to me. Big up, big up, Sean Bass. Bless up yourself, bro. We day I take you in the game. Nilal. Nilal. Oh, you see the second half. Floodgates open up for City or what? <laughs> Are you a wrench boss? Easy, no? Yeah, people. So I want to say, <clears throat> second half, anything Arteta can do to change the game? Boy, I don't know, you know. I think, for me, we have to, we have to be a little braver. Uh, we have to engage a little bit higher up the pitch. I do think that there are mistakes in the City back line in the build-up. If we, if, we, if, we um, if we have the, the courage to press, we can force some turnovers. But, you know, I do think that we have to be smart about it. If we don't win on the initial press, we need to drop back into the shape that's been working out for us. Because, as I said before, when you play City in a half and... They have so much possession and their biggest chance is from a corner, then you know you should be pleased with how your defense is, is playing. Ah, okay. So that is the argument. So because man, you want to keep the all-time Premier League titles, them just cheer for City so Liverpool don't win. Okay, okay, okay. All right, well. But no, no, if them win, them get a four peat, and nobody else never do that. So everybody should cheer for Arsenal. That's a Man U fan. It will be a draw. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Arsenal will win. I know he cheers for my other two teams, Birmingham City and Aston Villa. I don't know about him cheering for Aston Villa. I don't think he'd cheer for them. JD likes City and Mexico and Jamaica. And Suriname and Haiti and some other side. But JD said he's not a fan of teams. He is a fan of football, you know. Respect that for, for, for jumping on. Arsenal weather the storm. Came into the game last 15 minutes. One goal wins this. But looking like that, you know. Yeah, Boza, that's why I'm saying we have to be smart about it. You know, we can't all out press them the whole time. But I think in, in, in moments, we do have to take that risk. Because for that like a five, ten minute spell where we got something going on in the game, it was due to the press being a little bit higher. Yeah, man, him dead out, man. Him day in the shadows, lurking. <laughs> I wait for City, score a goal so he can, you know, go on like a madman. Is Reese Nelson injured? He's not even on the bench. How good is Nelson? Um, I think Nelson is really good enough, to be totally honest. I think Nelson is a bit of a victim of the squad he's on. I think if Nelson is on, I'd say, more than 10 of the teams in the Premier League, he's playing every game, if not starting, playing a lot of minutes. So he just on a, he's just on a damn good team, man. I mean, if you look at the position that he's most comfortable in, which would probably be the left side of this formation, we have... We have basically three players that I think can play the role better than him right now. Um, Martinelli, Trussard, and Jesus. So it's just tough for him, you know? Um, he's decent on the right. <clears throat> and I think, um, you know, for those times when Saka needs to come off, I don't mind when it's him is the one that comes on over there. But, you know, Fabio Vieira is also there that can play out there as well, who I rate too, so... He's just in a team full of ballers for his position, to be totally honest with you. Um, 
But I do rate him. I think he's a good player. I think he's a good player. And I don't and I don't think he's injured. I think he just didn't make the bench because people are back. I mean, you know, Emil Smith Rowe, Fabio Vieira, Parte, Trossard and Ketia, you know, everybody's there. So he just didn't quite make this bench. Okay, so Ajax first. All right, boss. So who was your baller from Ajax when you started to support them first? Yeah, Brent. Um, I, I think we're getting close to them in the right spots on the field. Uh, we're not getting that tight to them in the first part of the build-up phase. And once we bunk, once once they get into our half and kind of have possession, I think we're doing a good job of staying close to the danger people. So the Bruyne don't have that much space. Um, Foden don't have that much space. Haaland don't have that much space. Silva and Rodri are a little bit freer, but as they get closer to the box, we're closing them down as well. So the shape is good at least, Brent. But yes, we do have to try to get closer. I agree. But we have to find the balance between press and dropping off into the shape. <laughs> I've never changed my argument. Henry was my baller, not Arsenal. All right, boss. Them not believe you. But that is it always says still. Henry a baller. And me, I try to turn it in a arsenal, you know? <laughs> but yeah, you did say Henry a baller for true. Lee Young, I'm not gonna say him no good. Look pan, look pan, all right, look pan the name them I call. Martinelli, Trossard, Gabriel Jesus. If you have a if you're a player, you know better than them man there. That means you're not good. Them man there's some big baller, you know. All three of them play for them country, you know. Two Brazilian national and one Belgian, you know. <laughs> Shots are really not good, my gosh. <laughs> Big support of Boys Town, but as also. Yeah, well, Granier, it looks like it, it, it is just a part of you then, because them two sides, they're close to each other. So if you like the two of them, brother, no big rival, that man. Not as big as Arnett Tivoli, but Boys Town Arnett is a derby as well. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't start at Arsenal. Mm -mm. I think that's a part of the reason why I don't think he would ever go to Arsenal. Come in, I think, you know, him not going to go nowhere where he might bench. I don't think him, him agent or him manager would have want him to do that either. Yeah, man, I got him, say, man. Not beat him up too much. Oh, David's with the glasses. Yeah, man. Ball of that, you know. Big, big baller. Yeah, that, that Ajax team that won Champions League, I think, what, 95 or 94, 96, somewhere around there when they have Clivert, they will have um, Daley Blin father, Danny Blin, Edgar Davids, um, who else was on that side? Yari Littmanin. Enough baller they did on the Ajax side there. That was a wicked, wicked side. Reisiger was playing right back. Yeah, man, that, that, was a, that was a mad piece of side. Very, very good side. I try to remember who they have in the midfield. I think maybe Aaron, was Aaron Vinta on that side? I think Vinta was on that side too. Mm -hmm. At Man U, Bailey might could have started over Garnacho. Maybe. That is true. From in the seventies, total football youth. Rinos Michels. Yeah, man, JD. JD is a older fellow, you know. Not young like me. <laughs> Yeah, Barcelona is Ajax, if you're being honest. A Cruyff, Cruyff tech Ajax style over there. Barcelona fans don't like to admit that, but it's the truth. <laughs> 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 
What you say? When you start uh, showing them why you, you, you follow certain teams, them, them can kind of get an idea of the age. Eh? Be proud, man. Age is wisdom. You're getting wiser. <laughs> Yeah, dead with laugh, Bowser. Yo, like up the video, people, and they all I get be a joke in the day. So, yo, people, we never get in the prediction before the game starts. So it's easier now. It's half time. Wanna say how this game are done? Wanna say a city win, Arsenal win. Wanna gonna be like a Liverpool fan? Wanna say a draw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their coach in the mid 2000s was Dutch. Mm. And in the 1990s, when Cruyff was managing them. Yeah, man. People tell you, say, Cruyff teach him everything. You know? Good results so far. Big up, cuz. Big up, Nick. Big up, Nick. Bless up. Happy Easter to the fam. Open to eating good today. Sure you are. Family live down street from Villa Park. Um, you can ask him still. You can ask him still. I don't know. I I don't know him as no Villa fan, but you can ask him. People don't know that. The other day, telling me Aston Villa is a yeah, bro. Uh, well, come on, you know that was more about the pillar than anything. That was no, there was no facts to them statements. They're just a pillar, pillar gang narrative. <laughs> Rooting for Liverpool this season to win it. Arsenal had it in their hands. Sean, why would you root for Liverpool? They don't need any help from anybody. They have a lot of fans already. And the reason why is because Arsenal had it last year and we shouldn't get it again. Our time now, man. I'm not tired for see Liverpool and City win. Well, really, City win. Because Liverpool only win one time. Well, we haven't won in the last 20 years. But we've won many times before that. That's kind of sad. Very. Van Hal was there too. Yeah, man. Louis Van Hal had a stint there as well. After, obviously, after Cruyff was done. Okay, so it's in family love villa. Okay. Yeah, man, me know, sir. <laughs> yeah, man, I swear it go when your team winning. You, know? you want to call and tell everybody. Yeah, it's been... That's two games now. Because in the first game at the Emirates, he was quiet as well. Last season, he was killing us. Hello. <laughs> what kind of question that, bro? Who you want to win? <laughs> make, I mean, I don't think that's a question. Make them know. Arsenal. No, they want to know. They want it's to know. It's definitely Arsenal. I feel like Man City's had a lot of turns, and I've pretty much loved Arsenal like my whole life. So yeah. That is it. That is it. Basically, Dutch style is football. To me, to me, it's the best style. People don't really like to say that because obviously the Dutch national team perennially never getting it done all the way. But you know the 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 branches off of the total football is really what we see in most of the best systems in the world. Kimmy, say hello, Joe. Yay! Don't follow your father. Choose Real Madrid, girl. I do, I do, I do. She does like Madrid, actually. But because, well, we might face them this year if we can get by Bayern and City lose to them. But Yeah, but right now we're in the Premier League, so can we just stay here? Mm -hmm. Don't worry <laughs> about Madrid right now. All right, so second half kickoff, people. We're actually a little closer to the time now, about 15 seconds behind what's on screen, so that's better. Looks like no subs from either team. Of course, only the one sub in the game so far. Ake had to come off for Rico Lewis, which moved Akanji from right back to centre back. <laughs> no, no, no. She may. I don't. I don't force her to do anything. As a matter of fact, she enjoys when I rooting for the other team, but. 
She does like Arsenal. I mean, I like City, but Arsenal's just my team. Yeah, if every other day she would probably root for City. What? Because she like she like Alien. Actually, that's what she called it, Alien. That's a big four. Uh oh. No. Foden. Arsenal is kind of back. Foden looking for space. Jesus standing him up. Watched it. Oh, brilliant turn from Rico Lewis. Here's Kovacic looking to fire one. Ooh, just wide. I think Raya was beaten there, you know. Raya was beaten there. Two one city win JD said. All right, my see. That was a good attempt from Kovacic. First time I've really seen him get that high up the pitch here. He was playing really deep in that first half. Kind of the third centre back when City pushed up the pitch. Looks like he has pushed him a little further up the pitch now to get more involved. Let's see if he doesn't. Gabriel and Haaland having their usual wrestling match. Right. <clears throat> and Raya collects. And I think now they have called a foul on Gabriel. And it looks like six or one half a dozen at the other. No, Gabriel's holding. Pretty obvious. I stand corrected, people. <laughs> Where I said, Julie, play like Holland and bully them. <laughs> Sometimes I tell her she needs to bully them more. I'm not a striker, though. Yeah, she don't play striker. She play, she play either DM or, or AM. Center defense mid or center attacking mid. And sometimes she play right, right or left mid too, but mainly in, the, mainly in the middle. I've played striker a few times, but that's like not really where I am. Julie liked the assist more than the goal. I guess so. No, I not no guess so. You do. <laughs> but JD wanted to be a striker. She's a big striker, them said. She can play striker I still. I could. I could do that. I could. Julie I could did. Why you You put on the other side, too. Uh, I just keep keep watching. It's your first team I knew because that's team I better support. But for some reason, I also like Arnett. Okay. Yeah, man, Boys Town. Yes, she was playing wing forward, but remember that was um that was you know, she we have had a change of coach, you know. So the new coach de deploys are mainly in center midfield. Long time ago. JD. <coughs> What do you mean? How did he see her? Oh, one time. Like video. Yeah, one time. One time she was playing a scrimmage, and I was I was making up beer noise on the phone, and him said, "Yo, what 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 are you doing?" Some say looking at this. I mean, he put it on video, and him see Julia play. And him say, "Yo, mm. she a bully them." I do. You sat on a kid once. Oh yeah, I sat on a kid. That's kind of sad. Yeah, man. The last time, yeah, last last time she was playing wing forward. So you are very correct, sir. But me that's a me that's a basic offer like the last, you know, this season where we're going on now. Mainly midfield she play. Either attacking or defensive. Why them? Yeah. Usually. Last two times she told me she was playing goalie or something. Yeah, C D. Yeah, that was just that was just in the um in a scrimmage. Oh, All right. Yeah. Arsenal get it. Oh, and that was actually on for Havertz, but just a little too much pace on the pass from Odegaard. Trey said, Arsenal, now nah, win. City have this. Trey, bet me a money, man. Say it with your chest. Daddy, What's your prediction? Lose money. What's your prediction? I predicted 3 2 Arsenal, but. Oh. I'd be very shocked if five goals score in the second half. No. Yeah, because nobody has scored. Offside. We're like 51 minutes in. How are they going to score five goals? 
No, that was that wasn't Julie that said that. That was my other daughter, Gabby. No, said I repeated that. it. Oh, well, no, other, I only say other daughter because he don't know you. Oh. Huh. Like he's never spoken to you. He knows you exist, but he's never spoken to you before. Dang. Holland behavior. <laughs> Holland behavior to sit on people, you know? No. Trey, two nil, is it? All right, well, let's see. Just don't get him anymore. Arsenal look like they want to score first. Here's Saka in the box. Cross the box. Oh, Jesus, how are you not there? Yo, if Jesus had a little more instinct, man, you know how much gold the man would have scored? Well oh. done, Georgie. No, that's a dive. Can't even Dixon. touch him. That was a day. Yo, card every player upon City. Why them have to come and tell you about yellow card every time? Yo, that's the one thing I can't stand with the City ball of them, brother. From the game start, them have to crowd the ref everything every time something and sometimes, Just play the damn game and sometimes it's they a get brilliant away pass by Odegaard and I don't know how you don't spot that if you let a country run on the inside go oh Jesus man don't try to get 2-0 city mm, go away. I think that's wrong <laughs> leave straight dang man <laughs> Jesus man Anthony Taylor is like completely done with these city players. He can't take them. He might, yo, city, or, city, or make we get a penalty or something in another game, you know, because them keep on about the ref, you know. Watch. Huh. But I'm bench, I bench the whole of my, my bench Raya in a fantasy, you know. I must actually start Martinez, who give me a clean sheet, so that's good. Mm. But that game, I look like. Go, go, go. Yo! What? Handball? Well, Arsenal has spent more time in City's half this half so far, which is a good sign. We might get quite a few goals. Looking yes, he needs to start with booking the City players for asking for the yellows. That should be the first. Well done, other guy. Boy, excuse me. <laughs> that burp came out of nowhere, people. Dad, you don't want to say that. They already heard it, Julie. What else? I must hide the fact that I burp. Sure. You don't say anything about it. It's yeah. okay. Acknowledge the joke. No. Yes, people. <laughs> I have one injured daughter. And one perfectly fine one. She somehow made my thumbnail with one hand today. No, I, no, I, mean, I helped. That's not. Barely. Oh my gosh. Look like a family stream, people. Our wife won't be in it now. I'm not. I'm to the side. Yes, a few goals. City ain't a small team. We know, we know, we know. Brian Burke are dead with laugh. Why you laugh? Because she did one hand thumbnail. All right. Arsenal dropping into the shape again. But I do like that Odegaard is triggering the pressure a little bit higher. Looks like there's been a slight adjustment to City in the second half. Rodri, in the build-up phase, is really playing pretty much on the back line. And Kovacic has now pushed up a little more. And that's a good ball out wide. Brilliantly controlled by Bernardo Silva. What a technical player, man. Another technical player on the other side, Foden. Pure technique. <clears throat> yeah, so that's the, that's the tweak that City have right now. Akanji playing more of a right back role in position, and Rodri kind of dropping deeper, just in front of Diaz. 
and De Bruyne is free on the right. Mm. Well done by Kivior here. Stands him up. No foul. Well done. Ah, oh, Silva shields it for a corner. So De Bruyne is trying to find spaces. First time I've seen him all the way out wide right, trying to find some room. Yeah, man, it's cool. Call it Jason Guna and Family TV. Yeah, they would love that. Sure. The other day, Julie said, why we don't do any family vlogging? Don't like Julie. It's because the viewers want it. They said the viewers want it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you going to tell the viewers that? what they want? They must tell where they want it, you know? I know what they want. I can read their mind. All right, boss. It's so small. Mind reader. So tell me what happened in that game, I didn't know. Well, I think the Bruyne whips one in, but he's offside. I think it's gonna. Be and I think the Bruyne is getting a little frustrated based on his body language. I'm gonna say two one Arsenal. Two one Arsenal, I like it. And uh, I, yeah, I, but I think they're gonna go to penalties though. There's no penalties because it's the it's the league, so oh. it's only one point for a tie. It's not like um Champions League the other day. Okay, so then two one. I agree with Julie. So Doku comes else. back to the bench. Looks like he's putting his jacket back on. Oh. So it do, don't look like Pep making any more subs right now. Just field. Long kick up field by Raya. Good jump from Havertz, but it's won by Rodri. Mm -mm. Saliba wins it. Goes back to Raya with a hard back pass, but it's right to him. Plays it back to Saliba short. Saliba getting pressed. Easily goes by him. Goes back again to Raya. Raya getting pressured. Clears long. Well done by Jesus. Somehow controls it. No foul. Don't know how that wasn't a foul. <laughs> no, they said it the right way, JD. So 59th minute here, people. City building up from the back. For the guard, as I said before, pressing higher. City trying to break the press. Here's Foden. Foden goes back to Vardy all, all the way back. Fakes like he's going long, but plays it short to Foden. Long crossfield pass, and Rodri was unsure. Got away with an un, unsightly looking touch. Here's Silva. They've gone to the far side now. Kivior on skates. Silva so tricky, but can't really get by him or anything. Well done. Double team now. We eventually win the ball. Here's Jorginho dribbling out. Plays a poor pass. Haaland in the box. Back to Akanji. Akanji to Foden. Foden to Roger on top of the box. Good block from Ben White. He's down. I don't know what that hit, but he's down. Gabriel is begging to play the ball out, but they're not. Ben White gets up. Doesn't look fully fit, though. Oh my gosh, man. Oh, the guard. Why did you come kick over the man, though? Honestly. Man, going away from the goal. There was no need for that. I don't know why the man just run through the man like that. Unnecessary. <clears throat> so it's a free kick here about 30 yards out. Maybe 28 yards out. Hopefully we can get this out. Uh, maybe about 25, to be honest. And the two free kick specialists, Silva and De Bruyne, are over it. More than likely, this will be put into the danger zone. Raya will have to be alert here. And Arsenal need to be smart about the line. Watch for the screens. Blocks. Well done here from Havertz. I think an underrated thing he brings to the team is his defending from set pieces as well. Here's De Bruyne with a way too deep ball. And that's probably one of the poorest passes you'll ever see him play. And Pep has seen enough. He's going to make two subs. And surprisingly, Phil Foden wow. is being taken out. So it's Phil Foden and Kovacic leaving the field. And he's bringing on two wingers, Grealish and Doku. So... That will probably put Bernardo Silva more into the half spaces in the central areas. 
and he'll probably have Doku on one wing and Grealish on the other. More than likely, Doku on the right and Grealish on the left side. So, Doku versus Kivior is probably something that they'll want to explore because I don't think pace is something that Kivior likes to play against. So, let's see how that plays out if the coach of Arsenal makes any adjustments for that. Um, the good thing is Jesus is on that side who is not shy about helping his fullback. So, hopefully, we can deal with it on that side. Raya goes long. Gabriel and Haaland in their normal wrestling match. And that's our ball. He didn't touch the ball, ref. Nothing. Well done, Odegaard. Brilliant defending from Arsenal there. Yeah, El Granero. Let's see. Um, and it looks like Arteta wasting no time. So he's going to bring on Tomiyasu, fresh legs. I'm sure this is, well, it could be for Ben White, who was down in the box earlier, but I'm thinking it's more than likely for Kivior. Because they put on Doku and Grealish. Mm -hmm. Very rarely does he take Ben White out, but Ben White looks to be struggling a bit with his fitness right now. He's not moving very well. And here's Arsenal on the counter. Oh, well cut out by Vardiol, but well won again by Odegaard. Double team, but plays out of it to the back. Here's Saliba. Saliba goes to Georgina. Georgina with a brilliant ball to Odegaard. And he's offside. Oh, Odegaard hit the ground. I was trying to spray it wide to Jesus. Here's Rico Lewis. No foul. Looking no for foul. a pass. Can't find one, but keeps it. Goes wide to Grealish on the first time on the ball. And it's definitely going to be a sub for White. He's not moving well at all. So he'll have to come off the pitch. Stays. Of the two of them, Kivior doesn't look to be having any issues moving. So I think, oh, oh, brilliant turn from Haaland, but good defending from Saliba. Solid. One of the few times that Haaland was able to even try a shot, and it was blocked very quick. Good communication on the backside. Ooh, and for the first time all game, I would say, De Bruyne had a little pocket of space right in front of the back line and just his one-time pass was a little wayward to Haaland. Here's Grealish. Grealish gets stepped on by Saka. It's going to be a foul. Grealish probably earns a foul every other time he touches the ball. Probably. Oof. That's a painful one there. Stepped on his foot. Really hard. The giddy master comes on. It's that time now. All right. So Arteta looks to be someone who likes to go by the script. I remember this double sub in the first City game. Tommy Yasu and Partey coming on. I think it was a triple sub last time because Havertz came on as well. But Havertz starting this time. Side, I got sink like ship here now. Dead side. Trey, you go on talk, Trey. Well done. Well done. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Foul. There's Bernardo. So Bernardo, as I was thinking, has gone more into the midfield now. Can even dictate the play even more. Him and Rodri. Here's Doku. Doku for the first time now faces up Kivior. And look at Jesus standing right there, ready. Brilliant defending there, Arsenal. And it's going to be a double sub. So, Jorginho plays 65 minutes. Will now come off for Thomas Partey. Come on, Partey. We've been saving you the whole season for this one game. Give us something. Georgie with his usual solid performance. Definitely would have wanted to get on the ball more. but And, wow, I'm very surprised, people. It is Kivior coming off. It looked like Ben White was not running so well, but Ben White is the Iron Man. Always plays 90 minutes for the most part, so I'm sure the coach would rather leave Ben on. But I'm just surprised. It looked like he was struggling. But we'll continue to watch that one, people. So fresh legs on to face Doku. 
Um, even though Kivior is a good 1v1 defender, I would say that Tommy Asu might be a little better uh, 1v1 than him. I do, I do think that Kivior might be a little better in possession, but we haven't really had much possession, so that's okay. And that's a foul for sure. Oh my gosh, the foul is on Havertz for some reason. How? Rodri didn't even play the ball. Yeah, why is that a foul on Havertz? It's not. Bad call. <laughs> Trey. Trey. Let's go out and watch the game, Trey. Bad change. Come on, man. It's a decent change. <clears throat> Jorginho. Wide. Arsenal engaging higher up the field. Risky tactic. Don't really want isolation with Doku or Grealish for that matter. We got to do this in spells. So if this is a five minute spell of that, I'm fine. Bodyguard backs off a little now. Partey high up the pitch here. It's almost like he's playing higher than Rice at this point. Now he drops back. <clears throat> Haaland has occupied that center space between the two CBs. And the, the center backs from Arsenal have been doing a good job squeezing to not give him too much of that space. Here's Grealish. Closed down by Ben. Ben with a sneaky kick out on Grealish there. Here's Silva. Goes back to Diaz. Diaz looking. Plays it to Vardial. Vardial, now that Grealish is on, Vardial is not high and wide anymore. Playing a lot more central and deeper to leave that space for Grealish. And pretty much the, the entire back line just interchanging now for City. Some going into the central midfield space, others dropping deeper. Just interchanging, making it hard for Arsenal to go man for man with them. And here's Doku for the first time against Tommy Asu. Skates by him, skates by Jesus, going into the box. But a poor pass by Doku. The almost king, but a good pressure here. Very good challenge by Saliba again. Oh my gosh, we cannot clear the ball. Clear. Here's Grealish wide. Watch his feet. Oh, good ball. Here's Rodri. Oh my gosh, these guys get everything. Well done, Ben. Uh, cha -cha. Uh, I don't know about cooking Declan. I mean, they, they have had more possession than us. So if that's what you mean by cooking, okay. Yeah. I mean, but but clearly this is a plan, you know. We're not, we don't think we can go gung ho on this pitch with them. So we're taking our moments, you know. And for the most part, we've been solid. Like they they haven't carved us open at any point. Yeah, see there, shitting back on counter might work. I mean, it's it's um. It's, you know, it's going to get harder now because they have these two direct players on the wing. Well, one direct and one more probing player on the wing. And I think that, you know, the, the Silvers and the Bruyners, they now might be in some more dangerous situations because they have the two wingers on the field. But, you know, I like I like the shape right now of the team. I mean, we're, defend, we're, we're set up well to defend this type of attack right now. Yeah, I don't think we came into this wanting the possession. It's clear. Um, good tackle, Saliba. 
Yes, win the second ball too. Referee! What kind of reckless foul that, man? Yeah, the only person who will Doku is himself. When he him gives the ball after he beat somebody, you know? Trussard looks like he's coming on. He said 2-1, City Granero. Looks like Trussard is coming on the pitch, people. Martinelli is still warming up. And Jesus gets the hook first. Good shift, Jesus. Putting some work over on that side. Hopefully Martinelli can come on and get us a goal. Trussard maybe can give us a little more calm in the box if we get a chance. Deadly on both feet. <clears throat> but a good shift from Jesus. Looks a bit frustrated to come off, but probably the right seat, right sub. Yeah. What was that poop? No. Hey. Come here, Muff. Come on. She's coming. Another way. Come. No. She's coming. Jump. Tired? All right, Trossard, Tommy, and that will go for a corner. Nice. So, so how is it getting? Oh my gosh, Juliana! <laughs> really? Two-one City, but. Might change to 2 0 because Arsenal struggling to break out. But see the breakout right there, sir. We're going to break out from a corner like all season. We're scored them corner. Yeah. Come on, Rice. Put in a quality ball now. Poor. Poor. Yeah, man, keep the ball a little bit, no? We're literally running out of time. We need to get a goal soon. Right up the field. Saka slips, misses the ball. Rodri. Yeah, man, we can't go and read each other, man, you know. Come on, Arsenal. Hold, hold it, hold it, hold it. You have your help. You have your help. Force him inside. Yeah, man, inside force him. Yeah, man. Oh, my gosh. How the man always I get the second little bunk stem. Jeez, um. Well done, Gabriel. Step, step. Well done. Well done. Oh my gosh, these guys winning every little ball like that. Step no, step no. This might be the moment where we get scored on. No. Well done, party. Don't get it out. Get closer to the brine, you know. Get closer to the brine, you know. Oh, the God, look. Lord of mercy. Yo, brother. Can't let the man just put that ball in the box from there, man. Oh my gosh, this dude is so fast. But he's so poor as well. Jeez, I'm sucker. What that man? All right, we need to get the ball quick because I'm about to score if we don't get it. Jeez, I'm peas. The man of 17 foot. Yo, me never see a side win every little flick ball. My word. Clear the ball. Chop. Yeah, man, Doku, the day Doku calmed down a little bit, he's a world beater. Bailey better than Doku? No, 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 no. I don't believe that. Well done, Raya. No counter, nowhere. Referee. Yo, a man, no, am I doing a ref? Sure. No, I don't agree. Listen, I'm stressed out. Yeah, man, I'm stress, stressful times. So the last 10, 10 minutes extra time. Ah, stress out. 
Oh, forget my dog for calm down. I rub her belly. She's fine. <laughs> All right. It looks like Gabriel Martinelli yes, will be finally. running out. I wonder if the coach will take a, What will he do here? Please put Martinelli on. Maybe maybe he takes Havertz off. Also, maybe. I or does he does he take I don't know who does I he take off? I haven't seen Havertz doing much. Well done. Oh the God, just give me one of those now. One good ball is all I ask. Jeez, I'm part of you're coming like a walkless chop. Go to the ball. This is why we're gonna score on. The cool does foolishness. Don't Can I always count on him? Don't act surprised. Leon. All right. And third ball, too. Yeah, man, respect tree. Respect tree. I made it lucky enough to have my father around a lot with me and watch football and those things. So, yeah, man, kids are very, very near and dear to me as well. El Granero, that is literally the theme of his, of his time. Get into good positions and could have done better. Yeah, man. Now that me does say, JD. Um, so soccer is off, people. Soccer is off. Martinelli is on. So pace to burn Injured. down one of the flanks. More than likely, he'll have Martinelli go over to the left and bring Trussard to the right. Nobody can mark Doku aside from himself. Yeah, man. But he mark himself a lot. And David Raya gets a yellow for what I don't know. I'm saying he's wasting time. There's 12 minutes left, Riff. I don't think we're wasting time right now. Right. We can't just have the ball for 12 minutes. Someone's down. And Haaland with a Julie play. Knocking over the people. Him. Yeah, I, I mean... I wanted the three points, obviously, but I will take a draw, especially on the balance of play. I mean, we have more games even though them. even though City hasn't necessarily peppered our goal or anything, they definitely are the more deserved winners today, just based on the balance. Yeah. But just it's just just team. like United, we should be allowed to win games okay. on the counter and defending as well. All right. Martinelli, almost the best introduction. Here's Trussard. Trussard with a good ball. Oh, the cutback was on. Couldn't get to the other guy. Other guard was free. Anyhow, that get through. <laughs> Trey determined for the two love. Yeah, man, the draw not so terrible, man. Honestly, all right. Here's Rice with the corner people. Whipped in. Come on. Good ball, but Akanji gets to it first. Right back to Rice. Rice gonna whip it again. Not so good this time. Grealish clears. He parted with a wild swing and a miss. What was that? Well done, Saliba. Well done, Gabriel. And he's telling him to get up when it was a foul. Tries to go early, mm. but cut out by Odegaard. Brilliant composure again by Saliba. Partey look like he's not awake yet. <laughs> Man on Partey. Good ball. Give him back now. Give him back now. Let him get in the game. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Let him touch the ball. Give him turn. All right. Here it is. Jeez, I'm other guard, man. Once play that ball. Hey, ref. Nothing. But, yo. And that's a yellow this time, no. Stupid. 
Ruben Diaz, go in a man, nothing no wrong with him. Big time, big time coach. That sub, that Doku Greeley sub, the stretch, stretch out the side. Look how wide we're back for is now. Basically, the two wing of them have to be extra defenders. Uh oh. Haaland in the box. Have the attack. Oh. Doku is not good at football. I don't know how the man never do better with that. Yeah, man, he's a hell of a coach, too. Yeah, I think Arsenal this season, I mean, Arteta this season just figured out that, like, even though his favorite style might be having possession and pressing every single time and, you know, you have to really figure out each game what the task is and you plan accordingly. Because even the game against City at home, we didn't concede possession to them this much. I think it's just been a concerted effort today to do that. And I think a part of that is to, for right now to have the energy to keep, to finish the game. So if we, if we have been pressing all game, everybody would be dead right now. And I think Arsenal, all things considered, look pretty fresh right now. <laughs> I mean, they, you know, some of the, some of the players getting a little tired, but come on, now, Tommy Yasu, man, what to you? Sure, man, do the same thing last season, you know, give it the ball. I make De Bruyne go score a goal, running back, just like that, a soft back pass. Well, the man, I know the man have an easy, simple clearance for a throw in and just kick it for a corner. I think this one might go out. Defend this properly, people. The Brian with the corner. This one might go out. Out, please, out, please. Oh, please. oh my out. gosh! I'm not sure what Holland just did. That ball was flicked to the back post by Vardiol, who was free, and then Holland, trying to cut it back to the six-yard box, just kicks and misses the ball. What was he doing? was caught in two minds there i guess i don't know what he, he did he, he did nothing diaz had a simple tap in and somehow holland could not get his foot on the ball he got nagged by his teammate that was really bad from holland there <laughs> literally had him wide open arsenal concede possession again ortega to build yeah, I don't know what Holland just do a while ago. Cause that was a simple tap in just pass the ball to Diaz. But we're still in. So that's good. So nil all still. And there's a live table. Liverpool 67, 40 goal difference. Arsenal 65, 46 goal difference. Man City 64, 35. So if this score holds the real winners on the day would be Liverpool get into first position and Tommy Asu again miscontrols the ball. Oh, Tommy. It's just like these stupid mistakes. <clears throat> yeah, man, I don't know what he was doing there, Float. All he wants to do is just cut back the ball, Diaz tap in, and them up 1-0. And man, kick and miss. Bless up, Jay. Yeah, man, we're out. And the kids are watching the game, you know? Bless up, bless up. Like the video. Take with that. Jeez, some peace. Well done, party. Well done, party. Well done. Okay, we're in. Martin, we're in. Play Martin, it now. Jeez, I'm trust hard. Play it now, man. Trust hard. Play the ball across to Martinelli early now. Oh, that was it, people. Oh, the guard through to Trussard. Trussard had Martinelli just play it across early. Chaja. And now here comes Doku on the counter. Overlap from De Bruyne. Doku on his left. 
thought about it, but thinks better of it. Goes wide to the brand. The brand cuts inside on the left foot, crosses over Holland barely. Saliba gets mm. spun by Silva. Good tackle by Saliba there. Man on. Havertz will not lose it there. No foul? Oh my lord, referee. Come on, man. The man just pushed him down. Rodri, over the top. Silva is wide open. And that was really dangerous there. Silva was free and just didn't know what to do with it. I don't know why he didn't just go to the goal. Six corners now for Man City to four for Arsenal. This might be it. And this could be dangerous here, folks. Akanji unmarked in the six-yard box. Raya pushes him away. I think the ref spotted something he didn't like. He's going to talk to them. Tommy Asu and Diaz. Come on, we have to win this first ball. De Bruyne, short corner routine. This could turn out well done. Bad. Well done. Everyone down in the box. And a foul. Injured. Haaland's That's head Holland. should be busted up. I think he busted his head, people. He has a pretty big one. And here's the replay of that play. Parte breaks the lines well. Other guard turns. Trussard does well to stay on side, barely. And then to me, one touch. Oh, the first touch was poor. <sighs> he had Martinelli early. Couldn't wrap his foot around the left foot. <sighs> oh. Two minutes plus stoppage time left. I don't know if we'll be able to make the goal up. Yeah, I would say about 90% of the game for sure. Yep. Trey, we still a look for it, you know. We don't see it yet. I go and look though, Trey. <clears throat> did he bust it or did he just? Uh, I don't think he was. He just. Saliba and him hit clash heads a while ago. Saliba's fine though. Mm -hmm. So maybe he has a stiff one. I was going to say we're wasting time, but we still have time. So 98 minutes. Um, I predict probably six minutes injury time. Five to six. Probably. I think Pep might have been thinking about Alvarez, but... I believe if Haaland is okay, you'll stay on for sure. Yeah, I think he's fine. He's staying. And he's up. This was a clash of heads here. I look like his hit hard, though, because Saliba didn't even go down. Yeah, he got hit on the front, and Saliba got hit, like, up here Coming somewhere. So, back look a bit front. look a bit tougher part of the head. Back in the top. In the top. All right, so 98-minute people. There's a clearance from Raya. And they have put up five minutes for injury time. So a minimum of five minutes injury time. The dreaded five. If you're a regular boys fan, you know why I said that. All right, Martinelli pressing. Good composure from Ortega. Vardiol keeps it. Plays out nicely. Diaz with time. Akanji. And Arsenal drop into their defensive shape. So for all the back and forth of the Liverpool City game, this game has been much more 
one-sided in terms of the balance of play. And maybe not as exciting, but if you like tactics and you know trying to break teams down, this is a great exercise to watch. Yeah, I'll take the draw at this point, you know. I think we got the one break we're going to get with that Trussard ball. And he had to play it early to Martinelli across, and he didn't. We do have a game on Wednesday, though, so if you win that, we'll bump up three points, which will get us to 68. But Liverpool will play this week, too? What day? Everybody play. play. Um, I'm not sure, either Wednesday or Thursday. Do you know what they play against? What him do again? We don't see it yet. What happened to Doku? Probably help. Badness. Right, just kick out the ball. Whenever he kicks it far, Man City always gets the ball. That's not a f what did he do? Both coaches yelling from the sideline. This must be the duck hooting here. Probably has like a bad miss. Oh no, probably that. Could have got that. Good ball. Good ball. To keep possession for the next three minutes. Oh my gosh. Gabriel, All why? Right. I feel like they're not trying anymore. Okay, yeah, that play. Mm hmm. Why, other guard have holy per fall in this game. I'm gonna work. <clears throat> yeah, man, happy Easter father wearing. Yes, me know as a me know the Liverpool fans them rejoicing right now, you know? No, no three points for either team. But there's still a couple of minutes left, so we still have anything can play. We still have time. Here's good tackle here from Tommy Yasu this time. No foul too. Pretty nice. And that's a foul, yeah, isn't it? Right there. Thank yep. you. Mm -hmm. can what do you mean, how? Can you kick the man's foot? Parte. Smart decision, please. Keeps it. Declan. Back to Gabriel. Gabriel. Control the ball, not your sad. All we need is smart decisions. Flick. Sure. De Bruyne to Grealish. Grealish inside. Bad pass. Well played by Parte. Rice. Well done, Rice. Dribbles out of trouble. Keeps it. Plays a brilliant ball down the line, but he looked like he was offside to me. And then no call. Like always. Yeah, man. City has, City has pretty much dominated the play today. To be totally honest. Can't go around that. Um, but I would I would think if you ask Pep after the game, he's probably gonna say that they should have done more with the possession they had. Probably. Because when you look at the possession stats, you would think that City would have had more big chances created and things of that nature. But yeah, Arsenal have done a good job of, you know, just keeping them at arm's length for the most part. Besides Doku late in the game, kind of getting through a few times. Um, yep, that's it, people. Nil nil. One point a piece, one point a piece. Uh maybe. She might she you know it will be her decision, but um she does have some favorites on the US team as well. Um so who do you think was the man of the match for Arsenal? Arsenal man of the match. Um I would say it's probably between 
Saliba and Gabriel, to be honest. I don't think Raya saved enough to, to be the man of the match, even though he was good too. What about for Man City? For Man City, I'd probably say Bernardo Silva. I thought he was the most, the one at the middle of most of their good stuff. Um, Doku had a nice cameo in terms of getting free. But again, the end product wasn't really there. Um, but yeah, I think for Arsenal, it would be between Saliba and Gabriel, or probably both of them. And for Man City, I would probably say Bernardo Silva or Rodri. Pepper said, what the Ross wrong with your Grealish? Play the damn ball now, man. The match done, Pep. Him can't do it now. Yeah, man. So, Julie, <clears throat> Julie asks a good question. Give your man of the match for each team. Trade it, it too. With that weight, pan the two love, you know. Gabriel always want to fight somebody. Yeah, man, see the respect there. Man, have to respect him. Give him a tough match. And I shared all and missed a couple sitters. No, a couple? I mean, the one chance him just get a while ago, him could have cut back to Diaz, but which other sitter he missed? We don't remember the other sitter we missed. Yo, I think they came there to win, just the way how Man City played the game today. <laughs> it wasn't, it was not the day to do that, you know. We had little situations where we could have done something, brother, man. That ball to Trussard a while ago, just play the ball across to Martinelli, you know, man. We're playing Luton. So, we'll these, are, these are the games this week, people. Arsenal, Luton, host, Arsenal host Luton, Man City host Villa, and Liverpool host... Sheffield United. So definitely Arsenal and Liverpool have the better fixtures, but um, let's see if Aston Villa can do anything More than us. against City in this fixture. Maybe, maybe, maybe um, Emery is more brave, you know? Liverpool fans excited at this result. Well, Arsenal to win the league. I would love that. If Liverpool win next week against Man U, it's going to be hard. Hmm. No apology from JD. City was supposed to win 4-1. to one. JD, what happened? <laughs> I will take the draw. Still keep us in the running. Yeah, man. Draw. Nothing is wrong with the draw. I mean, when you look at the fixture list for the season, I said, boy, the City trip. If you told me before the season that we get a draw, I would take it. If we get four points from City this season, I would take it. And that's what we did. So four points from Liverpool, four points from City. That's what you need. Yeah, man, JD, I'm mad, man. What the hell, Pep saying to Greece? Yo, that and I love to hear that conversation there. Honestly, yo, the City ball of them rate Jesus, you know, a good youth. Okay, so base from yesterday, Nilali must say. All right, base. Me never think it could have been Nilali. No, seriously, both teams would have scored today. Wasn't pressing on Maybe it was international break. No, I think they. I think they made a concerted effort not to press. You have to, you have to look upon the, the the what's coming up as well. You know, obviously he wouldn't have been coaching this game thinking about other games. But we have game this week. We have game weekend. We have Champions League next week. We have game weekend, we have Champions League again after that. So, I don't think coming to the Etihad today and playing a high-press game was ever on the cards. Maybe he expected to press more in this game than he did. But I think it's tough when you're holding a team at bay as well as we were for long parts. It's tough to get out of that because it's working. It was working. And I did think that if we could have connected the passes better... On the counter, we could have got them on the counter. 
Gunners for life. One Dan Sherman. People them want to know what I'm JD. <laughs> there was a foul ignored when Gabriel dropped down hard in the box, but it could have gone way if our call didn't play. Uh, I don't know about that. I think that I, I don't remember any calls, you know, that we should go back and look to. I think this game was pretty well officiated, actually, by Taylor. He was he was consistent, you know. He decided early on he wasn't going to book people, and he just never bother book nobody today. Only two yellow cards to Arsenal on the entire day. Bailey will have his say on Wednesday. We'll see. We'll see. He's had his say once before this season against City. So we'll see. Villa beating City Wednesday. I wouldn't mind that. Normally play slow after. That is true, John PL fan. When you really do check the levels of Arsenal when they play after break, usually it take them a, a few games to get back. Well, not a few games, but the first game is usually not as fast start as the, as the rest. The Gunners them the most part was inviting City into a midfield clash. Just sometimes you saw them putting pressure. Yeah, that's what I saw as well, Sean. I think they just they pretty much said, listen, we're not gonna high press today. We want to make sure we have the legs to end this game. Um, and I think also that the press being different with without Martinelli on one of the sides. I, I think Jesus is a great presser, but I think Martin Martinelli even has another gear that he can get to as well. Um, I think Jesus is a little more effective pressing when he's pressing through the middle, person like from what I've seen. So yeah, a, a couple of factors could have contributed to that, you know. We did a job against the big boys, just some mishaps against West Ham and Fulham, but it is what it is. Yeah, Brian Burke, that is, I think, <clears throat> for the most part, we have handled the small teams this year, um, and and I think we have improved immensely against the bigger teams. So when you look at City, you know win at home, draw away. You look at Liverpool, win at home, draw away. Um, you know, these are things that we weren't doing in years past. And um if in this go in this running now, you know, we have we have Luton coming up. You know, that's a that's a game where we can't be looking past them, you know. We just need to handle business. Um but I do think that the experience of last year's running is gonna help. You know, they say you the best way to learn something is to experience it and we had a literal title running last year and it didn't work out, but I think those experiences will help. Okay, so Man City, Rodri, Arsenal, Gabriel. Yeah, Rodri deserves a shout as well. Um, pretty much cleaned up a lot of things in the midfield today, but I thought Bernardo was more influential in their play. So that's why I gave him the slight edge. Yeah, they're doing the interviews on TV now, people. Saliba is the most French-sounding Englishman, or the most. His English is basically French. Well, Alexis, Max, Let's take a look for the oh, just the two Sunday. fingers. And wow, so, <coughs> so Luton, Brighton away, Manu away, Palace away. City don't like play Palace away, you know. One bogey game that for them, you know, normally, you know. And we have Villa after that. Boy, this title running, I got to be mad. Yo, so what do you think, people? Liverpool now the favorites. City still the favorites. And I know no, no, no. Don't think Arsenal gonna do anything besides Arsenal fans. Yes, he missed a header. You mean the one? The one on the back post, that was a, yeah, I'd say that was a half chance, Granny. I wouldn't say that was a big chance. I mean, G Gabriel flicked it onto his head. I mean, it was that, if him scored that, boy, I'm great. City midfield was superior. Yeah, I, I think, 
I think we just conceded the midfield to them, to be honest. I don't really think we tried to impose ourselves in the midfield at any point. You know, it, it partly was a product of how they were playing as well. But I just, it didn't look like we really wanted to keep the ball at any point. Next question. <laughs> if these players were available to play for Jamaica, who would you pick from both teams, Jason? Oh, from the City and, and Arsenal team? Um, Rico Lewis would be playing somewhere in my team. Um, Reese Nelson would be, if not starting, somewhere off the bench. Um, Emil Smith Rowe would also be a part of it somewhere in there. Any Jamaican eligible that's on either of these teams would be playing for sure. Can't go anywhere, fingers crossed, can get over the line. Yeah, Brian Burke, that's how me see it. I don't, I don't, I feel like people just the easy cop out of fans right now is to say it's really a two team race and Arsenal gonna battle it, you know. But I mean, it's clear like we have a different mentality this season. But there's no way that we could have gone to the Etihad and played this type of system or style and actually held out for 90 minutes any of the past, I don't know, 10 years. So it's it's a mentality thing. It's a different mentality. Anyway, people, we're not going to draw the thing. Just want to bless up everybody who passed through while this live was going on. Obviously, we didn't get to see any goals or celebrate any goals. But as I said, a very tactical game, nil all. Um, I think of the two managers, Arteta definitely will be the happier. Keeps us still ahead of um, keeps us still ahead of of Man City in the table, and you know, in in striking distance of Liverpool, just two points behind, and we still have the goal difference advantage as well, which is like an extra point. So, you know, in 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 a good spot here. Hopefully, next um, this week against Luton, we can handle business. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, you know, win by a few goals and get that, that goal difference margin keep going the right way because Liverpool is hosting Sheffield United who looked really good against Fulham yesterday, but, you know, we've seen them on the road this season have issues. So that could be a game where Liverpool, you know, choose into that goal difference uh, margin. I, th I believe now Liverpool's at 40 after winning by one today and we're at 46, so... Yeah, so that's that's another one to watch, people. That that goal difference advantage that we have could get slimmer if Luton keeps it close and they're able to to mash up Sheffield. And then, of course, you know Aston Villa will be headed to Manchester City this week, so that's probably the biggest of the of the top three right now in terms of you know opponents that they have to play. So all eyes will be on that one. Of course, we'll have Leon going up against Man City in that day, um, so we'll be looking at that and definitely. We'll be around to let you know how everything went. But people, again, I just want to say respect for joining the show today. It's Jason, Jason Guna TV. We had a live watch along. Man City versus Arsenal. It was nil-nil. So all to play for in the Premier League. It's still a three-horse race. I made the best team win, people. But you don't know who I think is going to win. Come on, you Gooners. So on behalf of myself, Julie, Gabby, wifey over there, big up and blessings and we are out of here people peace